Samson, Delilah, hair. I didn't wear my hair like this for no reason today. It was on purpose. It's a wild ride full of tomfoolery that I just cannot comprehend. Samson is that guy. He did a bunch of stuff. He slayed a lion. He killed a thousand Philistines with a donkey jawbone. <sighs> Can you do that? I don't think so. He carried a whole iron gate for 30 miles just for fun. It's the beginning of this story. It was just him showing off because the people were like, oh, Samson is coming into town. Let's ambush him. Let's kill him. And he was like, you know what? Let's just pick up this gate and carry it for 30 miles because why not? Samson was the original strong man. Give that man a phone book. He can set it off. If you know, you know. And he was, uh, he was kind of arrogant about it because he knew he was strong. Like, like, don't get it twisted. His strength was from the Lord, but he knew he was all that and a bag of Cheetos. He was strong in body, but he was weak in spirit because of his arrogance. Arrogance. He settles into town. He meets a girl. He falls in love. Guess who that girl is? Delilah. Hey there, Delilah, I know you've been lying straight up. Straight up, this girl just been lying. Maybe, I don't really know. See, Tom Fulori, let's get into it. This is where our Lifetime movie begins. Turn on your TV, tune in, Lifetime original movie starts now. So they fall in love. I'm sure they were that like young lovey-dovey couple who like runs runs to the bridge to go like take a picture with seagulls or something and they're always like <laughs> like that's the type of feel I get from them just from this story. Delilah. She's the type of girl with a pretty face but a knife ready to stab you in your back. One day the mob bosses of the Philistines. Okay I'm convinced that the Philistines were like the original mafia. Like I said what do we say? I'm not a theologian, I'm imaginative, but I am so certain they were the original mafia. They're running around, killing people, they're whacking people. Anyways, anyways. The Philistines approach her and they're like, hey, baby girl, we know that you are in love with Samson. And this guy's been causing us a lot of trouble He's been killing our people. He's way too strong for any of us. We need you to find out what is his kryptonite. What makes him weak and how can we kill him? We're not talking about you kill him because we want to draw this out. We want to make this a long revenge. So we just need you to let us know. I like to think Delilah was like, We can pray to think that that's what she said first. But then they go and they're like, if you do this, each one of us, and I think, I want to guesstimate that there was like 12 of them or something. I don't know. They said, each one of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. So there was a lot of coin. And here comes homegirl Delilah like, no. money like bet like let's go and she became the mafia's mole she's a mole delilah brings it up to samson and this is what i believe the scene looked like i think maybe they were sitting at dinner right and she's like wow look at the weather it's been so nice how's your friend doing i wonder what's happening in the market what's your kryptonite and how can people overpower you hey can you pick up some apples on on your way to the market tomorrow the Bible doesn't say he questioned her, but I really hope he did. But the story makes me feel like he didn't. Samson, I don't know if at this point he's really playing along or if he's just trying to keep the secret or what. Samson tells her, Well, if somebody ties me up with seven bowstrings, I'll be made powerless. And this, 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 this is where I really question Samson's sensibility. 
this point of the story, I'm not too sure about this man. So Delilah brings the bowstrings. I do not know if he is awake or asleep because if he's awake, that's questionable. Like, how are you just okay with that? What is actually going on here? She brings the bowstrings, she ties him up, she hides the mafia in the house. And so after she ties him up, she's like, Samson, the mafia is coming to get you. So he's like, whoa, busts out of the, of the strings and probably roughs up some people, kicks him out, you know, kicks him out into the street like an alley cat. And that's that. And here comes Delilah. I do, I, I do not understand. She pops off. You lied to me. You made me look like a fool. Why won't you tell me what your kryptonite is? Why won't you tell me what makes you weak? What? Who? Why? Instead of confronting Delilah, he tells her a different way of subduing him. He tells her, if someone ties me up with ropes that have never been used, I'll be subdued. And I really, I really hope he was playing her. I hope at this point he understood. I hope somebody was calling 911 or something. But at the same time, homeboy was mad arrogant. Just big arrogant. So Delilah sets up the sting again. Same thing, ties him up. The mafia's coming. He breaks out. They get kicked out. Here she goes. Why did you lie to me again? I don't understand. Can you just tell me what's going on? Tell me your secret. At this point, I think that they're both playing a game. I think they're both like, who's gonna, who's gonna lose first? Who's gonna, like, at, why? Why are we doing this again? Because they do it again. My study Bible, the word of God in which I possess tells me that Samson was playing with them at this point. At the third time, he was messing around with them because arrogance. When you're arrogant, you don't care and you think you can do whatever. So he tells Delilah. If you braid fabric into my hair and you pin it such and such way, I will be powerless. So this time the Bible says that she made him fall asleep. She braided his hair into the fabric. She pinned it. She called up the mafia. And what happened? He was fine. Again, like, why does she keep trying? That money could not have been that good. Here comes Delilah. You made me look like a fool last night. If you love me, you'll tell me your secret. She tried to play that card. That's not cool. You don't drop that on someone. If you love me, no, get that, get that noise out of here, Delilah. Get it out. She kept on with this for days. For days and days, she kept saying, If you love me, you would tell me. You don't love me. You're a liar. Why won't you tell me? Can we just come on? And he was done with her nagging. The Bible says he was tired to death with her nagging. So you know she, she was on it. And so finally, man... That arrogance will falter and get you nowhere. He tells her the truth. And he knows that she is playing him. So, like, first of all, why is this woman still in your house? Second of all, why are you telling her the truth? Third of all, you know what's happening. And what does she do? She goes over and she tells the mafia. Hey, I know it's been a while, but he told me the truth. This is what we gotta do. You know, his hair, it's never been cut. He just sits in those nice Fabio braids and it never gets cut and that's where his power is. You need to cut it off. Bald head, bald head. So she sets up the sting again. She puts him to sleep. He doesn't know that it's about to go down because the mafia bosses are hiding behind the house plants. They're hiding behind the curtains. They're hiding under the couch. You name it, they're hiding. And she goes, Samson, they're here to get you. Here they come, razors. They cut this man's hair, bald head. And he loses his power. The Lord leaves him, the Bible says. And I'm sure the Lord was like, 
You were too arrogant. You did this to yourself. I gave you this power and you were doing what you were supposed to do, but then you got really arrogant and then you trusted this woman. He wakes up and he's like, Oh, I got this. I'm gonna just shake him off. Ah, fam. God took your power because you trusted this lady. He was done. Bald headed. The mafia took him. They shackled him up. They literally gouged out his eyeballs. Literally, this man was blind and bald. And they threw him in this like pavilion thing with all the townspeople that he had like affected because he was big and strong. And they're like, look, we got So when they bring him out into the pit, I imagine it's like this big Colosseum pit. They bring him out. He tells the people that bring him out. Hey, can you lean me up against this pillar over here? I'm really tired and I might pass out. I don't know why they believed him. So he's leaning up on this pillar. He's talking to God. He's like, God, I'm sorry. I was big arrogant. In this moment, can you just give me a little bit of my strength back? I just need to be Mr. Incredible for a hot minute. I need to push these pillars, kill these folks. I'll die with them. I don't care anymore. So he starts pushing, pushing on these, on these pillars, one on each side and collapses the whole daggum thing, kills everybody and he dies. And that is Judges 16. I wanna know what happened to Delilah. Did she get her coin? Cause she did a lot of things for that. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and a share so that your girl's channel can grow and we can make more people knowledgeable and more people laugh. Remember, stay funny, stay funny.